Tampa, we are an artistic collective based in Barcelona, made up of five members with different expertises, coders, filmmakers, researchers, and graphic designers. Since 2017, we have been developing a body of work devoted to the uses and ideologies of artificial intelligence. Al Mal Alumna, Pedagogia Crítica per Intelligencias Artificials, which translates into English as the bad pupil, critical pedagogy for artificial intelligences. We like this title because it appropriates one of the metaphors of AI, learning, and uses it to ask for a non-normative AI. In the statement of the bad pupil, we characterize AI as automation and not as thinking or creative, and try to be aware of the larger field from which it grows. A field made up of massive monitoring, extractivism, internet platforms, attention economy, etc what we could name big data ideology. This is something we want to keep in mind and always be aware of. Metaphorically speaking, it is a sort of figure ground relationship. This larger field is the ground for any use of AI. And we try to con construct figures that somehow confront this ground. That is why we want to champion the bad pupil, that is anything that escapes this normative context. For us, this could be a non-mimetic AI versus an AI that reproduces human intelligence on an inhuman scale, or also trying to use AI against the grain to point to this normative ground. For example, to what Paglen or Steyerl have characterized as invisible visual culture, all those machine-to-machine -machine processes that are happening almost invisibly around us. It's Martian species. This is an installation that you can see uh, in the exhibition, Mirabilia, Coma, La Ia. Uh, Metamorphose la Creation. Uh, this piece was uh, exhibited uh, for the first time in the exhibition Mars the Red Mirror at the Centro de Cultura Contemporánea de Barcelona, CCCB. Um, the, the installation proposed to explore an imaginary of possible beings as a world of unknown and familiar creatures that put us in front of a strange mirror of our own world. We used a deep learning neural network to generate images in order to create a visual gal gallery that comes from the imaginary that human beings have created around the idea of Martians. A universe full of all kinds of references, popular references and um, bi uh, biographic bi um, reference from the, for example, the octopus or the, or the cactus. These tools are able to generate images similar to the ones we provide uh, them as examples, what we call the, the data set. Being able to produce images quite similar to the original ones, but also mixtures between them. For this installation, we have created a specific data set with scientific illustrations of different typology of beings, microorganisms, insects, abyssal beings, anemones, pollens, and so on. Uh, thinking uh, that um, what is uh, really fascinating is how, in a way, machines and humans are always uh, bound to an interpretative impulse. Uh, so maybe here is uh, the bridge between human and machine is how we are always compelled to interpret whatever the object is. And uh, especially, uh, I was thinking maybe you could comment about what could be labeled as an artificial pareidolia, uh, which happens, for instance, uh, when you show uh, how the gun is uh, taken for a human face. So uh, what this artificial pareidolia inspire you, for instance? Yeah, I think that we like about that is that it's like having um, 
I think AI is a tool that can give you suggestions, no? And then we have this like uh, external um, process that can find this paradox, you know, that can find this uh, interpretation in things. And and we like a lot, yeah, to use it that way because also it's that the, what we said about being conscious of the ground. It's kind of also a way of discussing the the normative use. So it's 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 a, a humble way, but it's like. Um, yeah, evaluating mistakes and, and it's like, um, yeah, like trying to imagine other uses. Imagine uh, uses that are more poetic, more interesting, but also it's a way also of discussing the word, this ground somehow. And also a way to recreate a more productive human way of seeing the world because uh, it's uh, like a very modernist gesture of estrangement created by the device in order to look differently and in a refreshed way uh, the world. Mm -hmm.